In a recent video, we looked at the dungeon design of the Arbiter's Grounds. That video turned out great, go check that out if you'd like. But while recapping the section of the game leading up to the dungeon, something really stuck out to me this time around. I'm sure you already know where I'm going based on the video title, but Midna's Lament is an incredible piece of Zelda music in my opinion. The song, and that part of the game in particular, is extremely emotional, and from a story standpoint with Midna on the brink of death basically, it's easy to see why this part of the gameplay would be such a tearjerker. But what about the song? How does this particular piece of music so perfectly capture the raw emotion of this scene? Well, let's get into it. This is why Midna's Lament is the most powerful piece of Zelda music. <laughs> In order to understand why this song in particular works so well, we have to understand something about the game's soundtrack overall. Twilight Princess has a very thematic soundtrack. Now this is important. The game's soundtrack uses a musical concept called leitmotif, and they use it in a big way, probably more so than any other game in the series. But what is a leitmotif? I'm no expert on musical theory, but I'll try my best to explain it here. In short, a leitmotif is a musical phrase or piece that is thematically tied to a concept, person, or place. Some examples in the series could be, say, Zelda's lullaby, which will chime in and play during, say, an encounter with the titular character. or more recently, intermingled in with the theme of Hyrule Castle in Breath of the Wild, as we explore Zelda's former home. Ganon's theme is another great example. Encounters with the Gerudo King often are coupled with his own musical theme, and as we make our way through the upper towers of Ganon's castle in Ocarina of Time, the theme builds in slowly growing and foreshadowing our encounter with the King of Evil. So think of Leitmotif as being a theme song for someone, something, or some place. And Twilight Princess does this frequently. In a way, you can think of the game's main theme as a Leitmotif for Link himself. It plays as we gallop through Hyrule doing heroics. it prominently plays in a triumphant way when Link has an advantage during a boss battle. So the theme song gets tied in over top of other pieces of music. The theme of our hero intermingling and weaving its way in and out of the game's score constantly and driving that association home. While Link is doing his heroic things, having a positive effect on the world around him, his theme plays. Link's theme is bombastic, heroic, and triumphant. Midna herself gets her own theme, a short piece that is more somber in tone. A rendition of the song plays on the title screen.
We hear it in the early hours of the game, during the effects of Twilight, and, of course, as we meet her. There's something oddly somber, mischievous, and kind of sinister about it, which really suits her character. A princess cast out from her home, who puts on a mean face to mask her sorrow. It's a simple piece in its composition, but also surprisingly evocative of a great many layers of emotion, almost all of them being somewhat uncomfortable. It's a great fit since Midna spends the first hours of the game basically manipulating you and hiding her true identity. So, let's paint the picture for this scene. The first thing to understand is that this is an important turning point for these two characters and their relationship. Link and Midna have worked together, basically under obligation, to lift the veil of Twilight and recover the fused shadows. After completing this, it seems like your forced partnership with Midna is at an end. But then, Zant shows up and spoils the party. He discards the fused shadows, tosses Link aside, and his dialogue with Midna Midna starts to hint at her true origins. But when she refuses to side with Zant, he exposes her to the energy of the Light Spirits and mortally wounds her. Likewise, Link is cursed by a Shadow Crystal, keeping him trapped in wolf form. The Light Spirit warps us out, and Midna is on the verge of death her usual skin tone inverted to a sickly pale. We have to retrace our steps and return to Hyrule Castle just to find a way to help her. Both Link and Midna are cursed here, but Link being the selfless hero puts her needs above his own plight. A note as well is that the piece plays consistently throughout this whole scene, not being tied to just a single area. So when we're in Hyrule Field, then Castle Town, the waterways, and the castle rooftops, the song persists all throughout. Let's break down the song itself. The piece is almost entirely piano with the occasional string section, rather than the usual brass orchestra, and it has this palpable sense of both urgency and tragedy urgency in its repeating phrases that underline the entire track, which just drives the scene, because Midna is basically on the cusp of dying and we're trying to frantically hurry back to Zelda. The sense of tragedy comes from the main melody itself, which is where that leitmotif idea comes into play. The song is a combination of both Link's theme and Midna's theme, which alternate, but played on the piano in this scene and melded together like this. Both themes shed their usual mood and melt down into this singular, tragic feeling. Link's theme here is no longer bombastic and triumphant, but rather poignant, contemplative, and sorrowful. Midna's theme drops the feeling of mischievousness and instead takes on a mood of desperation, being brought in only between phrases as a barely recognizable sort of accent, played in higher, quicker notes than the usual low, drawn-out version that we're so used to. Used together, this song is greater than the sum of its parts. Of course, this was all intentional. I had to look into it, and Nintendo on their own official YouTube channel actually posted this song, along with some quotes about the making of it. Toru Minigeshi, one of the composers who worked on the game, said the following about this piece. While there is a tragic situation where Link is running through the rain carrying a dying Midna, it also foreshadows the fact that they will grow closer over time. Since Midna is a princess who was turned into a monster, the request for Midna's theme was that it should be a sad but ominous melody, a tune that is both familiar and elusive. And this piece in particular achieves these feelings 
perfectly. It melts down those more bombastic tunes and recontextualizes them here. It takes those triumphant themes and repurposes them into something more tragic and urgent. While Twilight Princess overall has a wonderfully thematic score, no track in the game, maybe in the whole series, is quite as raw and emotional in my opinion as Midna's Lament. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching this video, I just wanted to take a quick second to say thank you to the lovely people who support me on Patreon as well as my channel members, in particular those who supported at the cheese tier or higher, which includes Tetra, Brenda, Justin, Callie, Finley, Grey Mage, Hylian Historian, Gale, Ethan3G, and Clifford. Thank you so much for the support you guys, and I will catch you all next time. Bye bye